But the other thing is this. We need to understand that the sacraments are not private, but are communion. And then he said one beautiful thing. We with those who weep. How many times I have masses for those who died because they are 90s and because they are in their 80s, they lost all their friends. You come here and you have two members of the family, maybe six people. That's sad. That's community, I don't think so. So Father, what do you want me to do? To, 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 to go to look at the, at, at the paper and see how many people we have been married and we have to come to mass? If you can, why not? Maybe, you know, with the sign of peace, you get up from your pew and go and extend the sign of peace to these people who really needs to have somebody who cares at that time. How sad. St. Paul was so practical. And believe me, that built community. Community is not built because you have money. Yeah, you have money and for what? If you don't have ministries, if you don't have approach of reaching out to people. Have the same regards for one another. Oh, these people give $100 a week. Oh, how are you today, sir? Somebody give you $3. Uh, they cannot afford it. How many times we do those things? And we cater more for the rich than for those who are less rich. St. Paul said, have the same regard for each other. Do not ought by associating uh, by associating with the law. Do not be haughty and associate with the law. Do not be wise in your own estimation. My dear people, I wish that you can take this reading and it can be found in the bulletin. We don't know where it is found. It is found in the Romans, eh? chapter 12, 9 to 16. And try to think about it. Because that letter reflects the feast of today. Mary was few hours or few days with child within her. Her whole body was changing. Her uh, hormones, everything is changing. And you know what we call it about the, the uh, mornings, you know, upsetting mornings and so forth, uh, sickness. And we know that although she had those things, because she had everything like us, she said to her spouse, Joseph, we are going to Zachariah's house. And Joseph followed. That's why we call it the just man. He went with her, and as soon as Elizabeth heard the word of Mary, when she said, Shalom, Elizabeth, oh, the babies leaped in her. Remember, Elizabeth is six months with John the Baptist within her. And she said those beautiful words. How blessed are you who believe the word? Because my husband. The word was spoken to him, but he did not believe. And look at him, he is mute. And then she said something very serious. And who I am, that the mother of my God, the mother of the Lord, the Adonai, will come to me. And Mary opened her arms and speak the Magnificat. Those words that Hannah, the mother of Samson said in the friend words. And she said, My soul glorify the Lord. Because although I am lowly, he exalted me. And all generations, that here we are, 2,000 years after this happened or more, we still bless her. Because God looks at the lonely and raises them. Looks at those who are proud and bring them down. But God will never get away from his promise. My dear people, this is what we are celebrating today. The celebration of servitude. And we serve God by serving one another. When we fail to serve, you can tell me how much you love God because you are a liar.
Because God, who don't need no one and serve no one, humble himself to serve you and me. I come not to be served, but to serve and to give my life for the one I love. That is the lesson of today's feast. That Mary was the anticipation of the ministry of Jesus. As I wash your feet, Peter, I want you to be the one who wash the feet of your brother. Because whoever is first has to be last in my kingdom. Because my kingdom is not those who make it, who does not think that they are big, but those who are lonely. Because God does not want proud, does not not want to tell me, oh, I am, and I am, and I do. God wants me to humble myself. When I humble myself, I am his tool to use me. When I put my nose up in the air, God rejects me because he does not allow proud to be part of him. When Saint, when Lucifer said, non serve you, you know what happened to him? He became the damned one. And when Mary said, fiat secundum verbo tu, absum, that means here I am, I come to do what you ask of me, you become the greatest. Now we have a choice, either to serve or not to serve. And I, I know that the choice is you want to serve. So don't do it in words, do it in action. So the world comes to know that you really belong to Christ from the love that you give to